Hello everyone, my name is Danielle Vadney and today I'm going to be giving you a tour of the beautiful Sistine Chapel while telling you some history about it. You can find this chapel located in the Vatican Palace. The Vatican is where the Pope lived back when it was first made and they still live there now. The Sistine Chapel was built from 1475 until 1841 by the architect Giovanni de Dolci. This was made for Pope Sixtus IV. This Pope is where the chapel got its name from and the man who commissioned it to be built. Pope Sixtus celebrated the first Mass in the chapel on August 9, 1483. Now you know some basic knowledge about this chapel, let's visit more closely to its beautiful detailing. This is the outside of the Sistine Chapel. As you can see, it is very bland. It is a rectangle shape made out of all brick. There is no decoration or decor, so if you knew nothing about this chapel, you would never expect it to be so beautiful on the inside. Now we talked a little bit about the outside structure, let's go inside. The first thing most people notice while entering the chapel are the paintings. As you can see, the paintings all around definitely took a lot of time, patience, dedication, and of course, very talented artist. Sixtus got the most talented Renaissance artist to come and paint these images. The Renaissance was a period in European history marking the transition from the Middle Ages to monarchy and covering the 15th and 16th centuries. These artists put a lot of time and creativity into their work. These paintings are truly what makes the Sistine Chapel so unique. If you look more closely, you can see the two long walls on the sides. Botticelli painted these walls of the chapel. You can see that the left wall depicts the life of Moses, while on the right side it depicts the life of Christ. Although these paintings are wonderful and truly one of a kind, the reason why millions of people come to visit this chapel is mainly just to see the ceiling. Michelangelo is the known artist who painted the Sistine Chapel a.k.a. the ceiling. When Sixtus died, his nephew, Julius II, was elected Pope, and he continued commissioning the chapel. Michelangelo was considered a sculptor, but clearly he was also an amazing painter as well. Him and his crew came from Florence, Italy, and began working on the ceiling. He worked on it for four years, starting in 1508 and ending in 1512. He painted 1,500 square feet, which is absolutely tremendous. In the center of the ceiling, you can see the nine scenes from Genesis. This includes Noah being disgraced, the great flood, Noah and his family making a sacrifice after the flood, Adam and Eve at the garden, God creating Eve, God creating Adam, God dividing the water from the earth, God creating the sun and the planets, and God dividing light from darkness. Michelangelo painted it in this order on purpose. This alone, we can guess, took over a year itself. Around the center, we can see the ancestors of Jesus, prophets, and more. Each individual painting has so much detail. Anyone can see this is why this took so long. The creation of Adam is the most famous painting on the ceiling. This painting differs from typical creation scenes painted up until that time. God is on the right, reaching out to Adam, and Adam is on the left. God is shown as an elderly, yet muscular, man with gray hair and a long beard, being held by angels without wings. He is moving towards Adam. Before this painting existed, God was always shown more as a ruler, always wearing nice clothing, and always put together. But in this, we can see he is just like us. Adam is shown leaning back and waiting for Jesus' touch. The main idea of this painting is that when Jesus touches Adam, he will give life to him and all of mankind. Now, many people use this painting as inspiration. For example, now we depict God in a more welcoming manner, such as wearing sandals rather than him wearing clothes a king would wear. Expulsion from Paradise, or The Fall of Man, is the painting where Adam and Eve go against God's word in the garden. This is another painting that stands out. It consists of the tree of life with a serpent with a woman's head wrapped around it. To the left of the tree is Adam and Eve in a more luxuriant setting. Eve is holding the apple offered to her by the female tempter in the tree. Michelangelo knew how to depict a message without overcrowding the scene, and I personally feel this is a perfect example of that. Coming to the end of our tour, let's talk about the image above the altar. Michelangelo painted The Last Judgment. The Last Judgment is when Jesus comes again after the resurrection. 
This is God's last judgment of all humanity. Seeing the scene on the entire wall behind the altar shows us how important it is and how amazing God is. Now you know more about the amazing Sistine Chapel. We need to thank the artist in our prayers, mostly Michelangelo, for his hard work because even himself said it was not easy. It is truly amazing how somewhere on this planet that God made for us, there is a painting that shows us all the highs and lows of his life and other Christians. Thank you so much for joining my tour and have a great rest of your day.